folks, my name is Dennis and this is Fishing Lake Country. And this is another episode of what? This is where we talk about tackle and techniques and hardware, things that we're going to use to fish with. Okay? And today we're talking about mini swim baits. Yes, little swim baits that we would use for crappy fishing. <clears throat> Let me start off by saying the best of, the first thing you need is a good lead head. Now, I'm going to show you something as so I pick this lead head up. This is a Kytec. Look how good that's on there. Is it super glued? No, it's not super glued. Let me show you something. Watch this. Huh, there's nothing on there. What have I done? Took a pair of clippers. Fingernail clippers. And I cut right behind that head. Alright. Break it loose. Look at that. And you take your fingernail clippers and chew at it until you get it off there. See that? Pieces come off of it until you get it off. Alright? That's what I do. Why do I do that? Because that barb will bust that little bait and it just keeps pulling down. You can cast and come back in and it's down, right? Then you gotta put super glue on it. Super glue is fine. I use it all the time. I'd rather not use it because I feel like the super glue adds some odor because it stinks. <laughs> Y'all know what super glue smells like. So then you gotta put fish for it or some kind of scent to hide all that. So if you cut that off and stay up there, if you do have a problem, put your little teeny drop of super glue. Don't be afraid to use it. This contact baits have an odor, like pirate bait. Okay? I'm gonna go ahead and show you those while we're talking about them. They come in different colors. Guys, and this is a, a kept secret, I'm telling you. These things will flat catch fish. Kytec, two inch easy swimmers. Come in multiple colors. Sexy shad. Silver flash minnow. Uh, and shad, I'm sorry, that one's called shad. This is a silver flash minnow. Alright. Show you the package so you know what you're looking for when you go into a store. They're hard to find, Tackle Warehouse has them. You know, if you can't find some, look on Tackle Warehouse. We all shop there, right? The other thing, okay, this is a little minnow bait. It's called a two and an eighth inch minnow by Charlie Burr. It works fine too. I've caught a lot of crappy on them. And in the spring, when the bass are moving shallow about spawning time, you can go down the bank with that and you can put it on a weedless head. I use these weedless heads and they come in. There's a 132nd, and there's a 116th. I use 132nd for crappy most of the time, but you gotta think about guys when you throw these things into a brush pile on a treetop, is the heavier the, the weight is, the faster it's gonna go down. The faster it sinks, if you're not careful, it's only two or three foot of water. You cast over there, every time you start reeling, it's already down the top of the treetop. And if you're on the bottom and you're hung up, you can't catch anything, so use your lighter, lightest thing you can get by with, you got time to throw it over there and you want to swim it. It's four foot of water. You don't need to be a foot, two foot deep. If you're two foot deep, it's all you need to be. A crappy will come up and get it. You're better off to stay above the crappy instead of getting it below them. Um, I have no way to prove this, but I've always been told this through the years. The crappy don't like to feed down. If you watch them on any videos today, I've been watching on YouTube with the new uh, video, uh, uh, death finders and all. The garments come out with the, the live uh, scopes. Uh, crappy are very seldom on the bottom. They always hang around the top of the cover, right? So you and they'll, they'll come up and get some uh, more, better, faster. And then we'll go down and get it. So think about that. If you're using weight, one sixteenth. If you're fishing ten foot deeper, if you're fishing shallower than ten foot, one thirty second. I even go up to one forty eighth. I use a lot. This is a one forty eighth. I use it a lot. Of course, the hook size will change some too, but that's got a nice hook on it. If you're using these little Kytex, a 148th is fine. You know, uh, and that's got a little barb on it. If it's got a small barb, you can get by with that cutting it. But if you've got a big barb, see how hard that was to push up on there? Now it's going to stay there and it didn't bust it, but there you go. That's a 148th. I could throw that around a beaver hut or a lay down tree. It's the money. I'm telling you, if it's a crappy or shallow and they're in six foot or less, I can take that little bait right there and just work them over. Two pound line. Work them over. That's you know, we'll get into that in a minute, but you gotta think about the size of your line too. Uh, the other type of head is an underspin. It's like we'd use for bass fishing, guys. But a lot of us do both, don't we? Bass and crappy fish. 
So you know what an underspin is. It's about trout. That's by a uh, trout magnet. And that works great too at times when you need a little flash, the watercolor's a little dirty, and so forth. This is an old school guys by Charlie Burr. Y'all remember these? Got a little knob tail on. That's the old school, so they've been around for a long time. And they work. But uh, for me personally, they don't have this odor. See that Kytec has that squid smell, which really helps you when the fishing's tough and you can't get bit, and you know it's crabby on that dock or on that beaver hut. I promise you, been there. I don't throw these all the time. I'll put one of these on. The reason I don't throw them all the time is little packs of 12, guys. 12 in a pack. They're around $4 a pack. I don't know the exact figure. You can look them up. Uh, I watch the type of warehouse, and sometimes they put them on sale for like $3.25 a pack or something, and I'll buy three packs of each color. You're not going to beat the sexy shad, the mena color, and the shad color. Those three, that's all you need. And uh, buy, buy a couple packs. The downside of those also... Uh, I will share this with you. They're soft. And they got that squid in them. Some person like to grab them like this and pull them to break them off. You can make one cast come back and it's no good. That's, that's just the way it is. If it's uh, uh, doing a yoko mode and kind of text, but it's the same way, they're really good. But the texture of them is what makes them good also. But they being soft like that also, they break easy. Especially when you've got a little teeny weeny skinny tail. But on average, I usually catch four or five, six crappy on one. And sometimes, again, if you don't cut that barb off after a couple of crappy, they'll bust up in here. And you can super glue them, guys. I've done that many a times. Like I said, I try not to. But if you cut that barb off, you'll get, you'll get more distance out of them on the head part. They're so soft that this head has a tendency to bust open. So cut that barb off on six or eight jigs and put them in your box. They're used for contacts. And I would recommend, guys, on this weedless one, you gotta watch how you cut that one off because it's got this barb, this weedless barb that's going down into the head right there. If you cut too much of that lid off, sometimes this, this will fall out. I've been there. So if you're using one of those, you just push it up on a super glue. Best thing you can do. If you're using a regular open head, cut it off like that, they'll last, they'll last longer for you. Okay. The last thing I want to talk about said. So Two more things. So we talked about the Charlie Bird 2 and 8 inch minnow. They come in a variety of colors. This one's called Smoke Blue. Hard to beat. I've caught a pile of fish on it. The chartreuse tail is good if you've got some watercolor. Again, they're made by Charlie Bird. Uh, they work excellent. Caught many a fish on them. And if you want something that's going to last you a while, you already know. Z-Man, right? You go with the Z-Man. This, this is a 2 and a half inch swim Z. It's called a slim swim Z. This is bad shad color. I've got about three colors in them. This bad shad looks real, doesn't it? It's kind of a pearly clear on the bottom. It's got a little gray black flake on the top. There's a little couple blue flakes here and there, guys. Just a couple and a couple little silver flakes in it. Very fine flakes. This is a really good bait. How many crappy can you catch on this? You usually can catch them until you, you lose it on a stump or on a log pile. You can catch 60, 80 crappy on one of these before it breaks because they just they just can't break it. They get it and pull up and can't break it. You usually lose this before you wear it out. And there's eight in a pack. And they're about four something a pack. So if, when it comes down to it, this is the cheapest thing you can buy to fish with, guys. I'm telling you. And they work great. They are, with all these baits, with the, with the briar baits and all, since they don't have a scent on them, I put fish form on them. I've used different ones. Berkeley, the Berkeley Crappy, they got a form called Crappy. It works great. I carry that with me and I rub it all over it every four or five casts, you know, every ten casts. And I think it makes a difference. I really do, do believe that because you got your human scent on it. You got whatever. If you've had, if you've uh, touched the car, if you touched the gasoline, if you put gas in your car on the way to the lake, you, gas, you touch the gas pump. That gas is on your hands and you're howling on the bait. If the crappies in a for not in a real active mood and they're running behind the bait and it's pat and, and kicking around it, then sense can make a difference. Again, if you watch some of the videos with the live scope, you'll see that a lot of times they do that. They just don't run up and grab it. They go up hanging around a little bit. That's when the sense gonna help you. It's gonna help you get a few more bites. That's when this Kytex is gonna work too, because it's got that scent already in it. And I'm sure when they bite down on it, they can taste it. 
So I hope that helps you. Again, this is an episode of what? And I'm trying to share something with you that might help you. If you've never seen this contact, buddy, you need to try them. I'm promising you. They work. So I gave you a secret today that not many people have. I haven't seen nobody else on YouTube say, hey guys, I'm catching a lot of crappy on two-inch contacts, but you've seen it here on Fish and Lake Country. Okay, folks, one last thing. Quick. This is a six and a half foot Fenwick rod. It's a light action. Four pound test, P-line floor clear. Shimano Sarah reel. It's a good balance reel. I use this mostly for the 116th. Uh, and skipping and things like that, so it's shorter. So I get up underneath the, uh, under docks or under limbs and so forth. If I'm fishing the open water, sometimes like I say, I use it for the heavier weight. That's a one, that's a one sixteenth on it there. I have on it now, and I'll, I can stick anything on it. You know, any swim baits on it, it works great. I've got a pile of fish on it. It's caught some bass probably up to three pounds. Uh, that's a bad thing, guys. I didn't tell you about these these little swim baits. Bass like them too. I've kept a lot of two to three pound bass on them. In fact, if you uh, if you're in a place that's got a lot of small bass in a farm pond or something, uh, some far, you'll probably see the videos I've done in farm ponds. You've seen those. I take that little Charlie Brewer bait, put it on a 116 that we just had. I just walk around the pond with you go catch bass and crappy and big sun perch. This is a seven foot Lou's Wally Marshall. It's also a light action. Got a fluger on this. This is a present fluger. The guys, they're about 50 bucks. They're probably the cheapest, you know, good reel out there for $50. I mean, they're like $49.99. You can buy them everywhere. Bass Pro, Walmart don't have them. Most bait shops have them. It's a good little reel. I've got like three or four of them. Uh, for crappy fishing, it's hard to beat the cast wheel. So that makes a good cheap rod. And I got four pound Triline XL on it. Yeah, it's a little stretchy. But again, I've done them little swim baits, I've done them around cover. Gives me a little stretch if I get hung up. I don't lose quite as many of them because I don't break that easy. You don't need four carbon line for a, a little light bait like a 1 16th or a 1 32nd ounce bait line. I have tried to use some four carbon. The four carbon don't throw as well. The P line floor clear is probably one of the best casting lines you'll ever use. I use it usually in mint green or the clear. That's what it comes in. I like the mint green. Uh, all around, you're not going to beat that floor clear. It's just good line. If you want something cheaper, the next step would be the Trilene XL. I've been using it for years. So, hope that helps you. We'll see you next time. My name is Dennis from Fish in the Lake Country.